Okay, before I jump into this video, I want to apologize for not having a video last week because I pretty much wrapped up my old iMac. It's 20 years old, so I got it wrapped up and I'm ready to give it to my sister, but you know, no computer, no video. So I'm going to go pick up a few things here in a minute for like, you know, Valentine's Day. You'll see this video next week after I have the computer. That way I can edit this out. I'm going to have a calibrator coming soon too, the spider. So stay tuned to see what my pictures will look like before calibration and after. So let the video begin. Yeah, buddy. Check those out. Woo wee. Those look good. All right, anyone who may be watching this video, I got a good question for you. Where do you go if you're off the day and you had a bad day at work yesterday and you had to go somewhere around your hometown? Where do you go to get that inner peace? This has to be my area down here on OSU campus. Everything I want to do is down here, especially the restaurants. When it comes to pizza, we have a place called Hound Dogs. Ooh wee. But when it gets warm outside, I just grab my camera and tripod and I head down here to take pictures because there's all kinds of photo opportunities down here. And it's just fun to be down here. This is where I come to a lot if Tori's not at home and she's at work. It's but, quarter mile. Use the left two lanes eh. to turn left. But anyway. That, that's just a question I wanted to ask you guys because I love hearing about what you guys do in a normal day to where if you had a bad day, what do you do to make it better? I have a couple minutes to spare until I got to get to the flower shop, so I thought I'd take a detour down my hometown street when I grew up on, and I already covered that in my one video called About Me. Sometimes it's fun to just cruise through your childhood memory street, so yeah, I thought I'd do that real quick. I already brought it up in the video too. What I wouldn't do to have racks back right there where that stupid Enterprise is. Uh, I just wish they would come back. And came up on my grandma's house. You know how bad I want to go knock on the door to ask if I could just go in one last time? Ugh, getting kind of emotional here. I mean, I'm not getting emotional. I'm just cutting onions up in this car. I, no, 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 not emotional. And I miss going to Blockbuster right there on the corner. Man, pardon me because I just got too many memories going on right now. I heard that we're gonna get one of those, uh, what are called, wall burgers or something like that in this casino that we have right over there. I can't wait because I've been hearing so many people talk good about that place and I love the taste of a good burger. I can't wait to give it a try. And here's what the roses look like. Beautiful. I love them. Man, it's cold as heck out here today. So it's a new day. I'm about to pull up into the barber shop I always go to, get my hair cut, and then go back home, get things ready because I'm finally gonna go get our new iMac. Yeah, we needed a new iMac pretty bad because we have a 2012 and it still does pretty good for like, you know, web browsing, but it's kind of old. You cannot update the RAM, so that's the downside of this one. So we got the one to where you can update the RAM and it's the latest model, the 2020. You'll see when I get it. Well, here it is, and sorry it's too dark in here, but I'm about to set it up. Oh yeah. Oh shoot, this is so much bigger than the other one. This is the 27 inch 2020 5K Retina one. Wow. It's freaking big. Okay, right now I'm doing a screen recording on my new iMac and my gosh, it this looks so much better than my old iMac. So anyway, let's get to the point. Now, I was never able to run Lightroom on the old computer, just Photoshop, and that made me miss out on it. So I'm gonna see how that operates because I did update the RAM. Let's check it out. It came with eight gigabytes of RAM, but I upgraded it to 32 right here. So man, I'm so happy to have that. So anyway, I had to buy that through Amazon, which sucks to say, I hate Amazon, but they were the only place I found for like that matched this one. Everyone else seemed to be out at the moment. But anyway, let's see how fast it takes Lightroom to run in real time. Holy crap. Oh my freaking gosh, that is so fast. Oh man, this is gonna help my photography so much more. I don't have anything imported into here except for yesterday when I was editing out my picture just for the fun of it. But I do have a calibrator coming probably in the next couple days and I'll show you what that looks like here soon. 
But anyway, let me try to import something here real quick. Let's see how swiftly it works. All right, just for the fun of it, let's import this one. Let's see how this looks. Man, I will admit that is pretty freaking fast compared to the old one. I did use a Nikon D850 with this, so it's a massive file. Sharp as heck. Man, I love it. Very, very sharp. Look how beautiful she looks. So anyway, let's edit it out a little bit. Take down the highlights. Add a little bit of shadows. Not too much. Let's dehaze it a little bit. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Looks a little too cool. Let me warm it up a little bit. Just a slight bit, like one. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, yeah, you get the point. This looks so good on this freaking computer. I'm loving it. So this is what was dropped off so i'm going to go ahead and install it get it ready and then we'll start to see the difference between my old pictures versus them after i have it calibrated okay it looks like i got everything in place and all i gotta do now is just hit next now it's doing its thing So that's pretty much going to do it for this video. So stay tuned for more videos coming out. I still hope to upload every Monday, but it is getting crazy, you know, with work and I'm working a lot more hours. So I'm going to try to do my best to upload every Monday. If not, I'll try to get another one out the next week. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for joining. I'll check you later.